back again at the same area as we were last the last time, just at the church there. But instead of going uphill this time we're going downhill. But uh, just as you drop off the, the road there you get met with the um, the waterfall straight away. And it is, I've already spent half an hour there. I don't know if I got anything but looked as good fun trying to take pictures there now. So yeah, so look today we're back in um around Derry Cunningham Church again and we're going downhill. Um so yeah, look we'll uh we'll make a move on it. I'm not sure what the name of that house is. If somebody knows, they might leave it in the comments. On the previous video from here, uh, one of the somebody left a comment. Ada, thanks very much. Left a very interesting comment um, about the, the upper area, so I put that link into that description. But um, I don't know what that's about. But it's it's cool. It is a uh, it is very overwhelming at the, <laughs> at the moment. We're only like a kilometer and a half into it, and it's just the colours, the the noise off the river. Everything is. <laughs> it is very different to being on a wide open mountain top. So, yeah, I'm trying to do photography and stuff, but the head just didn't seem <laughs> doesn't seem to be working. And that was absolutely stunning coming down for that. I know I don't know if you can hear it in this, but there's there's a few water there's a waterfall and a cascade here. So it's about to get more sensory overload. <laughs> We're on a bit of a road here. And I know you'd see cars parked coming up the other way. They, um, they do drop their cars there as well, but it's, it's all easy to get to. Like. Alright, I'll give a look at this. I'm not sure, can you see it from here? But there's a waterfall just poking through the trees above there are big cascades. I really don't think I'm gonna to get to do all if I don't want to do today. It is it's just too much. <laughs> I spent a half an hour at the waterfall there, the cascades, taking a picture of a mushroom. So it was good fun, it was kind of very relaxing. And uh, towards the end of it then, uh, a local camera club came, so I had a quick chat with them. Terence McSweeney, so it's good to meet you, nice to meet you. You keep going up and up, that was the first cascade. There is um, a bigger one up along here. I hope I'm in the right path, no, if I'm not, I'll just go around the other way and uh, we get it, so. Put it in like that, there's no rush. <laughs>
I wasn't wrong. It's completely overwhelming. me. Um, just from a picture point of view, obviously you could stay there all day, but the, I'm in the wrong time of day now. The sun is just up there, and it's completely blown out everything. So we'll uh, we'll keep it keep going. I also want to kind of do more of the hike, not just spend the whole day in the first kind of kilometer and a half of it. So yeah, that's um, that's stunning. The colours are just out of the world altogether. Right. So we'll um, we we'll keep going on down there now, and yeah, hopefully it'll calm down a small bit because I can't cope with this. Uh. We're just coming out of the, the woodland here and we're getting our first view into the, the lake and it's uh, beginning to open up now I think the rest of it now is mostly open for the rest of the pula. Lord Brendan's cottage here, I know who Lord Brendan was, I have an ocean. But it's just at the end of the the upper lake. And you, if I turn around here, you can see um I get the boat back up to I presume Muckers or somewhere. But it's all closed now for the season. <laughs> I think it closed about three weeks ago. So I got my timing fantastic again as usual. But um I was here one uh one summer and you get soup and there's a small cafe restaurant there which is lovely after the walk down i get a soup and bread and stuff and which is lovely but that closes i think the middle of october the end of october so i might have a bit of a break here for a few minutes just for a bit of a rest before we head back in so right You'd be thinking that makes a nice um, photo. The bloody wall is off centre to the bridge. To, it's, it's not off centre, it's at an angle to the bridge and it's doing my head in. So I thought to make for a nice picture, but <laughs> it's just no, absolutely not. Here, look, tis, tis nice, but I've been here before, but I never realised that the wall wasn't uh, right angles to the, the bridge. <laughs> so that goes off into the Black Valley, I think, is either that way or. 
Dearoa. So, yeah, and nothing was flooded either, so that was nice as well on the way in. So now we'll um, just go back up and walk back. <laughs> Looks like the most inhospitable hillside. You can hear the farmer, he must be bringing them down. Tough day of work, lad. Hell of a lot tougher than going for a nice easy stroll. Yeah, we're just leaving um, Brandon's cottage there now and just heading back to where we are. You now that I said Brandon, it has been a time since I've been there, so I'm beginning to miss it. But anyway, that'll be some other day. <laughs> Could be very much like the last day for um It's just few clips and the next thing we're done. So we're just after, um, we're just going back to the, the first bit of woodland now, or the bridge, yeah, oh yeah, a bit further than I thought we were. I made a couple there, we had a good old chat for a while, I didn't get your name, sorry about that, but it was uh, terribly enjoyable, they're hooked into walking <laughs> as well. So, um, yeah, we're nearly in the woodland now, it's gone very different. The cloud is after improving immensely because earlier in the day everything was just flat white and I even know lots of the shots I was taking through the trees they were just blown out um, that looking up the, the sky was blowing them out completely but now we have an awful lot more stuff going on even look around here at this so yeah it is, um, it's supposed to, it is supposed to start raining this evening as well so we'll see how that goes <laughs> so yeah it is um, it's just very nice it's so relaxed now it is is brilliant. <laughs> so we got it. Back now near near the waterfalls and the cascade, you, you can hear them. We came over a bit of a crest there a minute ago, and they seem to like, oof, you kind of know exactly where you are from it. The way back here turned into a complete stroll. I was, I would say, I was walking some bit at the start, but uh, <laughs> it's more of an amble at the moment. Well, for the last three quarters of an hour, just ambling away. But Jut is really nice, so it is nearly at the end though. We're nearly back at the start, the start now. I just did the whole outro with it recording myself anyway. We're, uh, we're nearly back at the start again. We're at the, the first waterfall. We're just about to come onto the road by the church. Um, yeah, that was a lovely day. Lovely, long enough. Um, when you do the out and back, I'd pop it up on the screen there because um, I turned off my tracker at one stage. So yeah, that was that. Um, this, that that's the one good thing about the church here. You have two options. You can go to uphill, which we did last week, or you can go downhill, which is today's one, obviously. Which is a good option if the weather is a bit iffy. You have two options on it. Um, yeah, look at that, we'll finish up. If you got this far and you've enjoyed it, you might give it a, a like. And if you want to see more of it, you might give a subscribe and share it own, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, look, we'll finish up. Thanks again for watching, and sure, we'll see you in the next one. Good luck.